All right, so once again, I've been stopped by more vans. And uh, if you know anything about overlanding and camping and just van life in general, Sprinters, Mercedes Sprinters, are pretty much like the kings right now. Everybody seems to be building up Sprinter vans. And uh, so I stopped by the Mercedes booth at NAB to just kind of fly around. So they have a couple options. Here's the short wheelbase option. There's the long wheelbase option. It's pretty huge. A lot of people are converting these to RVs and overlanding vehicles. Um, obviously it's good for a work van as well. Uh, these things base price, just starting off as a shell with nothing in them for the most part, uh, are around like 30, I think she said like 30 something thousand. And as you see them right now with the minimal upgrades that they have here at the show, I think they're like 47,000, which you see here at the show. But interior is pretty cool. I mean, these are work vehicles, so they're not going to be super fancy. But they seem decent enough. The driver has a nice seat there. There's not a whole lot of reclining space uh, on this setup here because of that, that panel. But interior looks decent enough to get the job done. Again, it's a work van. Pretty cool. And then in the back, as you can see, stepping into this is a little bit higher because there's not a running board. Yeah, I think this one's six and a half. So as you can see, this is what it looks like in the six and a half roof height. Six and a half feet. I don't know what it is in meters for you European viewers, but pretty nice. You can see there's a lot of options there. You could just go nuts and build it out anywhere you want. They do offer uh, all wheel drive version in the diesel. By the way, they do offer diesel engines if you want a turbo diesel. Let's go look at the big one here. This is the big boy. So this is the long wheel base right here. This is pretty nice. I like this step in the back. You see how the doors kind of fly out all the way. You can push them all the way out. This is nice. Look at that. Yeah, this one's the same. So this is six and a half as well. Uh, I believe they go even higher in these things. And of course, this one's outfitted with the uh, track system here for work. You know, obviously it's a work vehicle and it has that cab wall installed here. And if you're wondering, it does have power doors as an option. Which is nice, because a lot of these cargo vans don't have power doors. Very nice. And then here's a look at the interior, which is exactly the same as the other one. Here's all your power controls, that's kind of nice. The controls are on the door. And then lastly, right next to it is tiny small compact this is the metris as you can see it's still big though i mean you can still carry a uh, plywood and sheetrock in there it fits perfectly fine in there this is obviously the shell model this is nice look how the doors actually double hinge to go all the way out you just unhook this or you can keep the stopper in there and just have it stop right here that's nice very tiny and compact, yet versatile. So this one does not have the power door. And then inside, it's really kind of like standard fare as far as um, minivans go. Not a lot to write home about. I mean, it is just a work minivan for the most part. Now, this one has all the manual stuff, so some people like manual you know you don't have to worry about electronics breaking down over the couple you know years that you're working in it you just have levers and buttons some people like just levers and buttons i know people that want roll up windows still <laughs> but uh i don't think any modern cars do that but yeah that's a quick look at the metro sir let's go inside and show what it looks like the step in height's pretty low and then to get in clearly you're not going to be standing up in here you have to hunker over like i'm doing right now see but again, wrong tool for the job if you want to stand up in these things. This is a compact van. Park this in your garage. Um, I saw the video of Doug DeMuro talking about the family version of this. 
and uh, if you haven't seen it you gotta watch it uh, probably not the best version for family van but as well as a work van it looks like a fantastic work van which it probably was based off of a work van first which is why it had so many issues with uh, being set up as a family van but it's still cool and I like the looks too the looks are fantastic a lot of times these little minivans don't look that cool anyways that's a quick look at Mercedes at NAB thanks a lot for watching guys please hit that like button to support my channel I appreciate it. it helps me out a lot and leave a comment below let me know what you guys think about the Mercedes cargo vans thanks a lot take care